It is springtime and the mama raccoons are out there having babies. Now, one particular mama raccoon has climbed up on top of this roof and gone in there to have her litter. This house has these nice little shingles on it and mama raccoon has de-shingled part of the house. She has gone right up inside of there and ripped some shingles off, got herself a sweet little entrance spot where she can come and go. So, I can set a trap and catch Mama Raccoon real easy. That's not hard. We can haul her away. But if I do, there's going to be dead baby raccoons in there because they're not old enough to get out and run around yet. So, we got to get Mama Raccoon to move her litter. Because if I don't haul them away, there's going to be dead baby raccoons somewhere inside this house. Can't reach them. So how do I talk Mama into moving the babies out? Predator sauce. I want Mama to think there's a predator up here that's going to eat her babies. I want her to worry just enough to pick them up, move them out, relocate them. First thing I'm going to do is apply these beauties. These are old couch cushions. They're great because it keeps me from burning my backside on this roof and it keeps me from sliding down the roof. A roof is pretty much a giant sheet of sandpaper. You can sand the backside out of your pants. So I'm going to throw these up there so I don't slide off and put a little predator sauce in. Gonna do is squirt a little predator sauce on a rag or two here, squirt it in, toss it in the hole. Now that I got the predator sauce in there. We'll set up the camera, see what happens tonight. When mom shows up back at the nest, she can smell that something's been going on. She's worried that there's a predator in the area. She immediately goes in and starts to move all the kids. Having mama raccoon move her babies is a whole lot better option for the raccoons and the homeowners. It creates a lot less stress for the raccoons than any option that involved trapping. It also means that the homeowner is not going to have dying raccoons in the walls of the house. This little raccoon is worried because mom and one of his siblings is missing. And he can also smell a predator. He probably thinks the worst has happened. But soon enough, mom is back and she loads up the scared little raccoon to go to his new home. Having mom move the babies herself makes for a much happier story. Relocation seems like a really good option, but it's not for a lot of different reasons. One reason is that if I were to relocate mom and her babies right now, there's going to be some serious problems for this family. There's a lot of demand on mom to be able to find enough food that she can successfully nurse all four of these babies. Moving mom to a new area means that she is going to lose all her known food resources and that's going to make it really hard for mom to keep her babies from getting hungry. The downside to this is that mom and all her kids have warm fuzzy feelings for the inside of this attic. So they are likely to come back at some point in the future, probably during the next nesting season. So you have to make absolutely certain that the entrance that mom's using or any other entrance is sealed up really good and tight so that she can't come back in. So at this point, I want to double check and make absolutely sure that the raccoon is gone. So I'm going to run a trap over this hole for a couple of days and make sure she's out because you never know, maybe one of the kids left their toy behind in the bedroom and she came back to get them for them. So just kidding about that. Raccoons really don't have toys just in case you, you didn't know. So raccoons have these really cute little set of hands that they can be very creative with and they can tear things up with. There's the bee again. Okay, well, 
they normally use that little cute set of hands for reaching into tree cavities and pulling out nestlings so they can have a snack. They also work really great when they're frustrated for ripping the shingles off your house. Now, or your siding or whatever they can get their little their little grippy hands on, you know? So, you better do something to keep Mama Raccoon from rearranging the top side of your house while she's stuck in your trap. Because if she can get her little paws out there, you got a problem. And so, put these, the trap up on a board to kind of prevent that. So, so you panicked raccoon inside your attic will do things. She has been a very quiet tenant up until the point she gets upset. And at the point she gets upset, she's gonna shred some stuff up. She may have already shredded some things up. And several, I'm gonna add one more wire to this thing just to make absolutely sure that this trap doesn't go scooting off down the roof when mama raccoon starts reaching out grabbing and pulling at things now gotta add a little wire up around the mouth here because if you don't mama raccoon will bypass your trap let's get a few screws hello screws how are you okay a little washer so that the screw does not go through your screen and leave you leave you hanging or leave it not hanging as the case may be okay one more screw up top and got this thing done Raccoon comes out up in this area, comes around and hits the trigger wires. You've got your raccoon. Now, let's remember, we are not necessarily trying to catch the raccoon. Primary goal is to get the raccoon to move out without a panicked raccoon or panicked customers or dead baby raccoons up in the attic. We want a peaceful resolution. This is just a combination test and trapping setup. Primarily want just to make sure mama's out. That raccoon job turned out about as good as you could have ever expected. Mama raccoon moved the babies out all on her own. And I went up there after I was certain everything was clear, slapped a little fresh lumber over those entrances so mama can't get back in, cause that homeowner some problems. So if you're here, Noises in your attic, you're in a chur or some thumps that sound way bigger than a squirrel, give us a call. We'll be glad to come out and take care of your wildlife problem. This is Pat the Wildlife Guy with the Wildlife Company. Don't forget to subscribe, and I hope you all enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.